What's up guys? Look at that. Look at that. The freaking greenhouse is slam full. From front to back. Luckily I got everything in here. I got pots on top of pots. All the way to the back. Man. God, I hate this time of year. I really hate, look at the tamarillos. I grew those from seed. They're looking good. But man, I hate this time of the year. I hate to see it. I hate to see all this beautiful stuff die. And I see Brett knows what I'm talking about over there in England. I've seen some of that frost he's got, and that's what we got coming, a hard freeze. Not a frost, but a hard freeze. Only thing I didn't put in there was the, the Catalea guavas and the dragon fruit. It wouldn't fit in there. Look at this. You try to propagate stuff on purpose and it don't work. Look at this. I got dragon fruit just growing up out of the ground. Just from when I went around and cut cut that off, trimmed it back. Well, I don't have my peaches and pomegranates in there. Some peaches and a pomegranate. A uh, bunch of citrus. I'm going to put all that other citrus in that little greenhouse over there. But yeah, I've been busy. Look at the uh, garden. This is going to be the spring garden again. Hey, be quiet. And uh, I understand what George was saying, that he don't like the cardboard. Because he wants the roots to break through. Well, that's why I put it in early. See, it's already starting to rot. And I'll just punch a hole through it and let the roots go through. These roses are starting to like the cooler weather. They're blooming back up. Little rose bed. Look at these mulberries. They're not going to make it. Mulberries in December. Got one on. They're not going to make it. I'm going to lose these few mulberries. This is the fifth flush of the year. I'm ready for it to go to sleep because I want to prune it back. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to butcher it hard. It's such a fast growing tree anyway. Mexican sunflower. It's all through blooming pretty much. So... It's, uh, it's all going to die back, but that's okay because I like to use it for mulch. That thing is gigantic. It's at least 20 foot tall, but most of all the blooms are gone, all the flowers. I don't know what this plant is. I don't know what the name of it is, but it dies back every year. I'm really hating to see this one. Oh, that's blooming. Got a lot of new growth. Got a lot of little buds on it. And unfortunately, I'm going to lose all of them. The moringa, I'm going to have to cut it back. Cover it with hay. It'll come back next year. The papaya, I don't know. I think this bottom one... I think a couple of these bottom ones are about ready to eat. They're starting to turn a little yellow. And they're a little soft to the touch. But if not, we'll eat them like zucchini or compost them. Getting a banana bed ready right here for next year. Throwing all kind of... Look at all the freaking cacao my wife ate. Persimmons, bananas. All kind of crap in there. 
let all that rotten down good then till it under then dump some compost and stuff in there and by springtime man that'll be that'll be like a banana heaven I don't have much fruit left on anything except for the kumquats they're starting to turn they'll be ready soon this is the Maywa kumquat it's loaded with kumquats which if the, the freeze won't hurt these, it'll just make these sweeter. These ponderosa lemons, they're about ready to pick. Look at the size of that big boy. Look at these. These are some lemons I found out in the woods on a wild lemon tree. And I was going to eat them, but they're disgusting. So I just threw them down here to feed this ponderosa. But look at the size of them. Look how, how big those ponderosa lemons are. And this is a fairly big lemon. This is bigger than the lemons you find in the store. But it's nothing compared to that ponderosa. The red limes. They're pretty much ready to pick and eat now. They'll get a little more red, but... The frost won't hurt these either. Well, the freeze, it's more than a frost. It's actually gonna be our first freeze. We had a frost. We had a frost a couple weeks ago. It got down to 35 Fahrenheit, but this time it's gonna be 27, 28. It's gonna be a hard freeze. The avocado should be fine. They made it last year without too much damage. I'm sure all this new growth is going to burn off, but nothing I can do about that. The carambola. I'm going to try to wrap it up in a frost cloth. Same with the white sapote. They should be fine. They made it fine last year. The white Indian guava should be fine. The red Indian guava should be fine. All the lemongrass will die back, but it'll come right back next year, and I just use it as mulch. You gotta really love this stuff to do it, to go through what I gotta go through. Now, these calamondons, they'll be fine. They're up under the porch here. But I'm going to dig up this blue java. It's so close to blooming. It's so close to fruiting. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to dig it up. It's about six and a half foot tall. I'm also going to dig up this cavendish. And I'm going to put them in one of the greenhouses. Because that'll, those are fruit really early next year if I keep them out of the, keep them from getting damaged. Most of the time the bananas here, they freeze down past the bloom. So you, you got, you wasted a whole nother year. And I, I'm not going to keep doing that. I figured out a way to grow those and the papayas. That way I can get fruit before they freeze. A lot of people told me I couldn't do it here, but I figured out how to do it. Even somewhere where you get hard freezes. I mean, you've seen the papaya tree. I'm going to lose all these angel trumpets. Your booty cobbler should be fine. I'll probably wrap it in a frost cloth. Navel orange is about ready to pick. A lot of leaf miner damage. And this tangerine mandarin. It's, it's about ready to eat. Which I don't think it'll be damaged. I think it'll be fine. These will be fine. These are lemons too.
forgot what kind of orange this is, but it's a really small orange. Really sweet and really small. But I think all my citrus will be fine. Got a few figs left on here. They're not going to make it.